Hey, it's, it's Manny. I put out a video not too long ago about Summit tips and tricks. So I apologize if it seems like it's too soon for another, but with the recent changes to Summit uh, in Title Update 11.1, .1, I think this one is needed. There have been enough changes that I feel it's warranted. So in this video, I'm gonna go over the recent changes to Summit and how best to play and get the most out of it. So we're gonna be covering the good, the bad, and the ugly. Before we start, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you know when there's new videos. And if you're looking for someone to game with, you can find me and other players in the Militia Discord server. The link is in the description below. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about in the summit that's new for title update 11.1 .1 is the ability to select targeted loot or uh, you run up through the summit. So if you hit M, you select R for targeted loot. And you can actually choose whichever target loot you want. I have Grupo Sombra set, and uh, I was running a, I was trying to get a demo DPS build, so that's why I have that. But you can select anything from rifle, assault rifles, to regular rifles, to my favorite negotiated dilemma, uh, backpacks, you know, knees, anything like that, plus all the brand sets, and any of the classified sets. All right, so the next thing we're gonna notice is that when we go up to the elevator and we select that floor, we are no longer presented with the rally floors, the rally points, you know, the whole one through 91 uh, different floors that you can go to. Instead, we have this um, you know, either continue on where we were starting at floor 11. So you have checkpoints now. Once you reach a checkpoint, that's where you go. You start at that point all the time. Unless you want to reset, you can actually reset your checkpoints down here uh, and start at floor one again. So I'm always going to start at floor 11 until you get to 13 and you start at 13. I should say 14. Once you complete 13, you start at 14. That's how the checkpoints work. Every three floors plus the uh, divisible by 10 floors, such as 10, 20, 30, those are checkpoints. Another thing that is new in title update 11.1 .1 is the ability to select the difficulty for each single floor, as opposed to going to certain floors where uh, one through 10 used to be normal, uh, 11 through 20 was hard, blah, 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 blah. Now we can actually change our settings. As you can see, I'm actually uh, starting on floor one and it's set to heroic. That's what I ran last. And you could change this, you set uh, difficulty and you can set directive. So we've looked at difficulty, see normal, hard, challenging, heroic, and legendary. Now, just for a little, um, my, my point of view here, I think heroic is actually better than running than legendary. Legendary has, when you get gear drops, legendary is gonna have a, on average, a higher roll on your attributes. But the problem with legendary is it's, it's scaled so much more difficulty, difficultly that it's not worth it. I can actually clear a lot more heroic floors than I can legendary floors in, in a certain time frame. Say I run for an hour. I can clear a lot more heroic than a legendary. Legendary, I might be able to, in an hour, probably get maybe 10 floors done. In heroic, I could probably clear like 30 or 40 in, in that same time. Uh, maybe not that many, maybe probably like 30. I could probably do 30 and I have better chance. I have more chances of getting loot. Now, yes, the average of the attributes is going to be slightly less, but not that much less given the difficulty legendary proposes. So my, my suggestion is just run heroic. Don't bother with legendary unless you want a challenge. You want to do a challenge. I've done it. I've run legendary uh, zero to hundred. I did it just to say I did it, but guess what? Not really worth it. All right. Along with difficulty is we have the ability to set directives now as well. As you can see, I have three active director uh, directives, which we get 75% additional XP, which has always been given. Now we actually have the chance for additional target loot chance bonus. All right. So mine's for each one of this, you get an additional X. So I have X three, I have three of them. Now let's discuss what actually targeted loot really is. Targeted loot is an extra chance of a piece of gear only when a piece of gear drops. So if no gear drops, there's no chance of targeted loot. Now, if a piece of gear drops, you have a chance of targeted loot. With that being said, you also have um, the chances for uh, targeted loot to be dropped during certain difficulties. So for example, um, this has all been data mined. I did not find these myself. These are just data mined from, uh, you can go to Reddit and check out these. It has, they haven't been disputed yet, so I'm going to go by that they are kind of, you know, the word. So for normal story, you have 20% chance of targeted loot. For hard, you have 30%. For challenging, you have 40%. For heroic, 50 And legendary, 60% chance of getting targeted loot. Now, named NPCs, 100% chance. So if you kill a named NPC, you're going to get a piece of targeted loot. So the additional chance bonus has been uh, data mined that it's an additional 3% per X. So for 3X, I have... An additional nine percent so now on heroic which is 50 we add nine percent so we have 59 percent chance of a piece dropping from just any any uh um buddy anytime loot is dropped i have 59 percent chance now this is irrelevant on named NPCs. it's 100 percent chance all the time so let's quickly look at the directives so i have no regen fragile armor and special ammo those are the three i ran uh when i was doing legendaries 
I would also probably add in hard to earn. You don't start off in the armor kits. That's probably okay. I would stay away from fog of war simply because it's hard to see. Like if you don't have the mini map, it hides everything on the mini map. I like to see stuff in the mini map. Ammo hoarder is also a difficult one. I run AR and I go through a ton of ammo constantly. Pistolero, since I run AR all the time, I don't have a pistol build. It's tougher to kill and cool skills as well. I don't like because I use both my skills. I use my drone and my um, shield. Now, if you're going to run cool skills, uh, I'm sorry. And the last one is scavenge skills. This is where you pick up tickets to uh, activate your skills. Now, if you're going to run scavenge skills, throw cool skills because it negates it. So these kind of work together. If you do one or the other, just do this one. You know what I mean? Um, so those are the ones I would run these three. Now there is diminishing returns on these. As, as you can see with four, you have 25% each chance addition, right? So if I add a fifth one in, it's 125. But if we add a sixth one in, it's only 138. So it's not 25 each one. After five, you have diminishing returns. What that means is the next one is not 25. You can see this one is what? Uh, 13, right? So and the next one after that is now it's 50. So these next two are 25. Add another one in 62, 175. So that's not, you get a little bit of diminishing returns. So I would, I typically run, um, I'll run with these four is what I would run with. Uh, no regen, hard to earn, fragile armor, and special ammo. I think it's pretty easy, especially on heroic. That's it for uh, directives. Just confirm them and apply them. Another annoyance I find actually, and this was in the original one as well, but this have actually added a, a level of annoyance to this is in here, if you don't get the key, you can't unlock this access thing. So now I have to run back and find the key. I did hear the noise. I know it's around there somewhere, but I forgot about it. Now I can't get open this. Why is there even a key for this? It's not like the keys are that difficult to find and there's nothing gating it. I just have to run back now and try to figure out where the key is. I heard it. They no longer show up in the mini map. So basically I just have to run around and look every place. So in other words, it's just a time sink to annoy me. Whereas this adds nothing, no value to the end user. It, it's just, it truly is just an annoyance. There it is right there. I ran right by it because I came through this door. I ran through this door. I saw the enemies here. I fought them. I shot some guys here, so I never saw it. You notice it's not showing up on my mini map. I mean, really massive. This is one of those, this is actually one of those things that uh, I'd actually call it a um, quality of life change. Let's get rid of the stupid keys. It, it Now I had to waste time, run back and go get it. it. It didn't make it more difficult. It just made me annoyed. That's all it did. Now I can go open the crate. So this used to be a really good method of farming. Basically every 10 floors is a boss fight. So bosses, as we know, are named. So they have a guaranteed drop of targeted loot. So uh, floor, you know, one, uh, 10, 20 have one boss. I forget where the twos, but up in floor 90 is three bosses. It used to be nice to actually quickly get up to 90 and then you could just refarm uh, the boss over and over again. But with a uh, patch recently on Tuesday, they've gotten rid of that. I just saw I got targeted loot. So I just had them kill me. So every time you kill a boss is always like one wave after the boss. You just let them kill you and then you restart it. So quickly fast travel to, uh, cause I want to show you what happened. So here's the boss. This is now the second time I'm fighting him. The target loot's still over there on the left-hand side. I never picked it up last time. And we did kill him. All right, now I'm going to run down there. It looks like there's something there. See the target loot still be on the left-hand side. No target loot this time. They no longer, so it's a one-time thing. Now, if you reset and start at one and come all the way up again, there'll be target loot again, but you have to reset. So once you kill the boss, the boss only drops loot one time. So you can't die and then come back and he drops it again. All right, the last thing I want to discuss is Ridgeway's pride chest components. So... Since we no longer have uh, floors that are designated normal, hard, challenging, heroic, the actual pieces drop off. Uh, very similar floors that they were before, but just remember, so normal body armor is 1 through 10, no matter the difficulty level. Hard shoulder pads are 11 through 20. The challenging hunter's knife is uh, floors 21 through 50. Heroic flag patch is 51 through 80. And legendary dog tags drop on 81 to 100. So that's where they are now. And there's actually a 20% chance, I guess it's been upped, of... Uh, them actually dropping from any one of the chests. Those are all the big changes I can think of and my recommendations for what difficulty and directives to use in order to get the most out of your time in the summit. Of course, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please hit that like button below. Are there any other changes you think I missed or are there any specific areas of summit that you are having trouble with? Let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you'd like to see more content like this, then please smash that subscribe button. And you can also follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash maniocrity where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I'll be happy to answer any additional questions you have live on stream. Till next time, agents, happy hunting.